Hey guys, Beat Reynolds, Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. All right, let's go to Colorado and see what the damage was from storm number one. And this is southern Colorado and Wolf Creek got absolutely nailed. 29 inches, 48 hours. Storm total, 21 inches in the last 24 hours. Again, southern Colorado. Let me take you up to the Continental Divide right at the intersection of I-70. This is Loveland Ski Area 12-7. And I expected more, only seeing about one to two inches of new snow. You could still pick up another inch or two, but this storm is going to exit this afternoon, Colorado and New Mexico. Of course, a basin just up the road, Winter Park, Keystone, all nearby. I just expected a little bit more snow. All right, let me take you uh, to my headlines. Here's what I'm seeing, the latest information. Storm number one exits Colorado, New Mexico this afternoon. Storm number two, 19 through 111. Storm number three, 112 to 115. That one's potent. That might be the strongest of the three, truly, with an Arctic front as well. I'll show you both features coming up. The northeast, your next storm system, 19110. That's a powerhouse. 70 mile an hour winds, heavy snow at the onset, changes over to a rain snow mix or all rain at the major ski areas. Pushes everybody into the warm sector. 112, 113, another storm, and another one behind that, 117. So the totals have gone up. I'll show you those in just a few. Let me take you back. I want to show you water vapor imagery this morning. So oranges and reds, dry your air aloft. Your moisture is in your whites, your blues, and your greens. Here's storm number one. That's going to be pulling away. Big storm number two, that becomes the rotator, and that moves down from Alaska, Canada, into the Pacific Northwest, and eventually into the interior Rockies with cold air and snow. And then behind that, there's an Arctic front that will rotate in. The storm number three will come in and ride that Arctic front. So we've got a lot of, we've still got a lot of action ahead. Here's the forecast radar and satellite. That's the situation by this afternoon. Storm is exiting Colorado, New Mexico. Storm number two already pulling into the Pacific Northwest. Here it comes, spirals in. One night in the morning, all that snow moves into the interior. Here's 110 in the morning. Watch the backside hit the Sierra. So that's 110 in the afternoon. Snow through the Tetons, the Wasatch, Idaho, back to the Sierra, moving into Colorado and New Mexico. That storm drops down to the south. And then by the time we get into late 111, it's moving away. Here comes the Arctic front dropping north to south. You can see it. The storm will come in off the Pacific and ride that Arctic front uh, from west to east. This is the view 113 late in the day. So it's just getting started. That final storm system will come in and move through the interior. All right, let me show you what, uh, that's the view on 113 forecast radar. Here's 114. You can see the storm moving in. Widespread snow and cold through the interior Rockies, the Wasatch, Colorado getting nailed. Here's 115, one more day down the road. By this point, snow is ending in the Wasatch. This is in the morning. Snow is moving through Colorado, New Mexico, and that low will start to move away during the afternoon hours of 115. All right, grand, no, let's go into uh, jet pattern. This is 19. So this, you can see that this is the second storm system moving in from the Pacific Northwest as that trough sinks in to the Intermountain West. Here's 112. Now, this is a fascinating moment because you've got the Arctic front moving in. You've got the co-location of both the northern branch and the southern jets. You've got a storm system coming in off the Pacific. That's the one that rides that Arctic front, 113, 114, and 115. So a lot of jet energy right there. So here is 114. At this point, you can see that storm system and that trough sliding through Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, and New Mexico, and then moving away on the 15th. Grand total map, uh, the rest of today through 117, the numbers have gone up. And now looking at potentially 60 inches between these next two storm systems in Little Cottonwood Canyon. Uh, a couple of feet or more through the Tetons in Colorado Western and Northwest Colorado gets the most additional snow with about two feet on the way, maybe a little bit more. Central and Northern Idaho, man, just what a rich flow in Northwest uh, parts of Montana. Interior BC looking good. Look at Washington and Oregon. Those numbers have been very consistent. Uh, heavy snow, another one to two feet on the way for the Sierra, and about a foot on the way for northern New Mexico. So that is a big period with two storms. Let's, uh, let me zoom in on the I-70 corridor, central and northern mountains of Colorado. So potentially one to two feet of additional snow coming. Heaviest numbers are up. Steamboat, Buff Pass, northwest Colorado. Let's break it down by period. So 1-8 through 1-11, the next storm comes in. You can see the totals. They're big in the Pacific Northwest, Idaho, northwest Montana. A couple of feet for parts of the Wasatch. And 8 to, uh, eight to 12 for parts of Colorado. Here's the second period. So this is the uh, third storm system, potentially the most potent. We could be looking at over 2 feet 
in parts of uh, the Wasatch come on another foot for the Tetons, and you can see the snow in Colorado, another 8 to 12 potentially on the way there. Look at those numbers uh, through parts of Oregon, 30 to 35 inches with storm number 3, another foot for the Sierra. All right, let me take you into the Northeast. So you've got a storm 19110, although you've got another shot of snow coming in, which might actually be pure snow rather than getting a mix on 112, 113, and another shot of heavy snow even down the road beyond that. So the numbers are taking into account all of those storm systems through 117, and we're looking at one to two feet for most places, maybe more up around Sunday River, Sugarloaf, and Mount Washington. All right, guys, we'll end on the grand total map here, which is still as impressive as ever. Uh, it's been incredible to watch this, this storm cycle evolve with all three of these storm systems, the cold air that's on the way. Um, so we'll just, uh, we'll just see how it all plays out. It's just nice to see. All right, guys, take care. Thanks for tuning in here and take care.